Well, good evening, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here, wilhitewx.com. It is the last day of March 2018, and tomorrow's April Fool's Day. Tomorrow's also Easter Sunday. And we've got to talk about daggone snow. I mean, seriously, it's not an April Fool's joke. I wish I could tell you it was an April Fool's joke, but uh, some of us are going to get an inch or two of snow across southern Indiana tomorrow. It's mainly going to be a grassy accumulation. Uh, because the ground temperatures are so warm, but there's going to be some snowfall. It's not going to last very long, but we'll dive into that here in just a minute. Right now, we've got more rain coming through. We don't need any more rain. We've had rain, 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 and then more rain uh, for the past, uh, well, it just seems like days upon days in a row here, and we've had multiple inches across the area. Another round of that is moving through. Notice this cold front back off to our west. Uh, this cold front right here is going to plow through the area overnight. That's going to bring much colder temperatures tomorrow morning. Then it's going to sort of pull it on the brakes as it goes through, and it's going to stall out over Kentucky. As it does, these areas of low pressure out to our west are going to sort of ride right over us on that front. And that's what's going to uh, leave us with, you know, the uh, potential here for... Uh, uh, the potential here for some uh, uh, some snow to break out tomorrow afternoon. Let me put that to a stop and let's go to the local uh, uh, more zoomed in radar. And you can see here we are. We're at 545 Central Time as I'm recording this, 645 Eastern. And you, you've just got another round of rain. Some of the rain even uh, fairly heavy sort of moving through across the area tonight. And uh, unfortunately, that's uh, that's going to stick around for another few hours. Let's go here and let's time some things out. Here's the way future radar suspected it would be for right now, and you kind of get that idea. The rain uh, continues to sag through. What you're watching as the front move through overnight, and then by the time you come to early tomorrow morning, so here's about 6 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Eastern, right about here. This is the time many of you would have sunrise services tomorrow. I think it's going to be dry. You may have a spotty shower around, but overall I think it's going to be mostly dry across the area. So if you're doing an outdoor service, I think you'll be okay. Now the ground will probably be wet, but there won't be anything falling from the sky. I will keep our fingers crossed for that, uh, but it's going to be pretty cold. Uh, so I know um, some, of, some of you may want to just do your sunrise services inside. I pastor New Hope Baptist Church in Spencer County, Indiana. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have ours inside because temperatures are going to be... Uh, uh, well, they're going to be in the 30s by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. So it's probably just a little too cold if you're doing those sunrises uh, to be outside. In my opinion, anyway, this pastor is having ours inside. Uh, either way, regardless, we dry out for the morning time. So you're not going to get wet going to the Easter services. That's a good thing. But watch as the afternoon uh, hours come in here and you can just sort of see more rain breaks out. This is not what we want to see. But unfortunately, it's coming either way you look at it. So by the time you get to about 6 o'clock in the evening tomorrow... Uh, afternoon, here you go. you got scattered showers breaking out across the area, but watch this mound of snow. And this is with the low pressure moving across. And as uh, we start to cool down of the evening hours, watch how snow starts to transition uh, from this rain and it just sort of overtakes the area. Now, the high res data here suggests basically uh, about a US 50 corridor line in northward for the snow. I'm going to show you some other models which are just a little bit further to the south. Either way, if you're watching me down in Kentucky, I don't think you're getting any snow out of this. This is going to be confined mostly to a southern and central Indiana event for us. And then that snow sort of moves through and it's gone uh, pretty early. Uh, so this is by 2 a.m. on Monday morning, and you see it, it's largely gone. So, uh, you know, it should be well gone by the Monday morning commute. So, uh, you know, the road uh, crews would have a chance to uh, clear off pretty much anything that would have fallen down. Temperature-wise, not going to be overly bad with this. If we sort of look at where we're at, those uh, upper 50s and low 60s we saw around, uh, you know, extreme southern Indiana today, those are gone. Watch this cold front plow through the area during the overnight hours here, and you, you can just visually see how much colder it gets. So by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, almost all of southern Indiana in the 30s. Uh, by the time you get to about 7 a.m. Central Time, 8 a.m. Eastern Time here, you're looking at about, you know, 42 or so if you're around Louisville, but you're already at 32 there in Bloomington, 37, and, you know, in uh, Evansville back there, and then maybe 40-ish. <coughs> excuse me, maybe 40-ish right along the Ohio River. That's going to be pretty doggone chilly. We won't rebound a whole lot tomorrow afternoon as temperatures uh, just, you know, don't really uh, make it up to maybe the low 40s here uh, across most of southern Indiana. Extreme southern Indiana, closer to the Ohio River, you'll get to upper 40s to near 50. Uh, but then as you roll through the day, you know, uh, the colder air is going to come crashing in. And so about the time that you start to see this rain change over to snow, 
you're starting to see the atmosphere cool down here as well. And so as the snow is starting to fall, you are in the low to mid 30s. So that's, uh, you know, most of the area is still below uh, above freezing. <coughs> Excuse me. Sinuses are in full swing. Most of the area above freezing whenever this is falling. So that's the good thing. So, you know, I think if, if there's any accumulation with this, it's going to be more of a slushy accumulation, probably accumulate on your grassy surfaces. But most of your roadways ought to be fairly fine with this, especially if they've been pre-treated. But with uh, rain going to snow, that'll be the question as to whether they can be pre-treated. But if you're looking at temperatures of 35 degrees, pavement temperature is probably a little bit warmer than that. Uh, you know, we may get out of this one with not too bad road conditions. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see. Uh, but then, you know, it's it's going to uh, go uh, south from there. And as we wake up on Monday morning, you're looking at temperatures in the low to mid 30s across the area here. Obviously, where you've laid a little bit of snow down, it's going to be a little bit colder than what it is. Uh, right along the Ohio River, you're probably not going to get any snow. Temperatures there will be a little bit warmer. And then, of course, the day on Monday, anything that falls is going to rebound pretty fast. Because as we get into the afternoon on Monday, high-res data here suggesting where you've got a little bit of a snowpack, you're confined into the low to mid-40s here. But uh, closer to the Ohio River, your high temperatures are going to be upper 40s to near 50. So anything that, uh, you know, that does fall is going to melt on Monday. That's the bottom line. Now, your model is showing this as well, just to give you an idea. And I just want you to notice that, you know, it is a little further south here. Uh, with the rain snow line but you know if you're watching right along the Ohio River here you're probably not going to get this so let's give you an idea uh, then high res NAM this is what it thinks as far as snow total so if you are north of I-64 you're probably going to get it uh, keep in mind if I just draw kind of on the map here for you uh, I-64 sort of runs right in through here. So you can see it's all north of I-64 with the high res NAM. And it pretty much is on most of them. Uh, US-150 sort of rolls in here right like this. So uh, it, on the high res SNAM, you've got everything coming here pretty much north of Highway 150. It's a little bit further south here on the Euro. The Euro suggests uh, that you could get just a light, uh, a, a light rain snow mix. And, but again, accumulation north of I-64 there. And it's not really got a whole lot. It's got wand in a couple of inch pockets in there. Uh, otherwise, you know, the high res NAM here, you're looking at uh, maybe one up to three inches at most with there. Uh, the lower res version of the NAM is a little bit further south with that and a little bit uh, uh, more boisterous towards central Indiana there with the snow. GFS looks like this, again, north of I-64, and this is pretty close to the US-50 corridor there as well. Uh, but again, about one to up to three inches across the area there, and then the uh, Canadian suggesting one to two inches three in the high spots. So they're all pretty similar. This is not a massive snowstorm. And you know, the bottom line is with some of this is going to melt on contacts. I don't think you're going to get all this anyway. I think most areas are looking at maybe one or two inches at most. If you're up closer towards Indy, you might be looking at maybe towards three, but that's going to be, I think, on the high side with this. It's not going to be just a hugely impressive system. If we just take a look at what the, uh, the high res NAM is doing and sort of base it off of it, I, I do think it's usually best to go sort of with the high res data so basically the US 50 corridor and north up here into central Indiana is where you're going to get the snow and that is where we would say basically um, I it's not wanting to draw very well but basically we could say about a one to three inch snow potential uh, you know on up into there and if you draw it maybe a little bit further south I, I would I would just say along with the other models that you might sort of add uh, this one where you could get less than one inch and if you are south of I-64 you're probably not going to see snow unless the data just massively changes. So if you're looking down here, Posey, Vandenberg, Warwick, Spencer, Perry counties, maybe even Crawford, Harrison, and Floyd, you're probably not going to get any snow out of this. Uh, you might see a wet snowflake mix in with the rain. That's about it. I think it's just going to be too warm. The low looks like it's going to track in a fashion sort of right like this. And so I think here along the Ohio River, probably going to be a little too warm for you. But certainly north of the Ohio River and really I-64, even into the U.S. 50 corridor north, that's where you're looking at the possibility of one to three inches of snow tomorrow. And I would wager at this point probably more on the lower side than I would because the ground temperatures are so warm and some of it's going to melt on contact at first. Air temperatures probably still in the mid 30s at the time and starting to fall. So I think some of this is probably going to melt. So, you know, bottom line, though, it is um, it is April Fool's Day, but it's no April Fool's joke. Uh, we're going to get some snow out of this. Some of us. Again, extreme southern Indiana along the Ohio River, you're probably 
going to miss out on this the way things look. But once you get north of I-64 and heading on in towards central Indiana, uh, in general, the further north you get towards Indianapolis, the more you're going to get. All right. And by the way, this is not our only snow chance. If I just go back to look at the euro for you real quick, uh, just, uh, you know, we're not going to get into real specifics here. But you, you notice as we go through the week, it's still a stinking rainy week and we got plenty more rain chances to come. We dry out maybe on Thursday, Friday, but look at next weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. Here you go next weekend. And the Euro's got another snow chance. And some of the other models have hinted at this as well. And, you know, we're looking at April 7th. Possibility of some snow accumulation here again. 32 line, this red line coming right into here. Well, that's that's a week away, so we'll have to deal with that. But just put it on your minds, put it on your radar screens. Winter's far from over. Uh, it's got a death grip on us, and I don't see this pattern starting to break anytime soon. Uh, I, I wish that it really, uh, really would, but uh, unfortunately, it just looks like this uh, this booger wants to hang around for a little while. If I just, I'll end by pulling up the ensemble data here for Southern Indiana, and you can kind of, uh, you know, you, you can kind of see that. Uh, if we just sort of uh, take a look here, this is what the Euro's temperatures do. And by the way, uh, the Euro takes us up into the mid-70s on Tuesday, and there is a possibility we could have some strong severe thunderstorms with that. That's something I'll have to talk about in another video. I'm, I'm running out of time on this one, but just know some thunderstorms are possible on Tuesday. We're not in a we're not in a risk by the Storm Prediction Center yet. Wouldn't be surprised if we at least get a marginal out of that. But then look at this. You go back down into the 40s. Our normal temperatures are in the mid-50s right now. As you go later on into April, we're going to get close to 60 for an average high. And we're still stuck next weekend with cold temperatures. And if we take a look at the ensemble data for this, we're just, you know, we see a smattering every once in a while of a warmer temperature, but you are still facing lower temperatures overall. That's the Euro ensembles. Here is the GFS ensembles. And let me just get this pulled up here for you so that you can see that. Uh, you know, and the GFS ensembles, goodness, there we go. Let's go open this in a new tab. Uh, you can see there's that warm day on Tuesday here, but then a much colder pattern uh, sticks in here. And, uh, you know, you're talking temperatures. So your average temperatures should be doing something sort of like this as you go throughout it. And most of the days still below normal. Some of these days significantly below normal here. And we're not done. Possibly the data suggests even mid-20s, we could still have a hard freeze next weekend with this. Ridiculous, but all that to say, winter's got a hold on us, and it's not going to let up anytime soon. I think as we get from mid-April onward, maybe, just maybe, it might lessen its grip just a little bit, but it's going to be another couple of weeks of a much cooler regime. Now, it's not ridiculously cold. We're still looking at 40s and 50s, but that's, that's dumb for April. We need to be in the 60s. Not going to get there much, unfortunately. All right, that's it. I'll update you more for uh, this forecast uh, tomorrow afternoon as the event unfolds. I'm meteorologist Micah Wilhite. Have a, a great day. Happy Easter, folks. Happy April Fool's Day. And we'll see you next time.